we actually got together just before the World Cup. We had this idea about um, about this massive land art that potentially can uh, sort of um, give a, a positive image over the township. And the conversation sort of leads to paint and fire, and next thing we know, it uh, it became even more conceptually uh, stronger than we imagined. I'm really looking at South Africa and the socio-economic uh, backgrounds and what's happening with uh, our communities and fire. So this is where it came in to combine fire and uh, paint and how we can actually prevent fires from happening in our communities. Every year thousands of people um, lose their homes to shack fires um, and if you think about arriving um, back from work and your whole um, home is lost and uh, you don't have any infrastructure to fall back on. Um, we hope to help prevent that. Um, you know, shack fires spread very quickly and uh, the rate of spread is very, very fast, less than a minute for one shack to burn out. The interesting thing was the title of the competition, which was Your Street. Um, and this is none of our streets, but I think it's South African streets. We get totally desensitized by the press and stuff where we see shack fire, shack fire, shack fire. And actually we realize that every shack is actually a home. And that's the important thing is these are South Africans that are living in these houses and we've got to make sure that they can sort of get to work in the morning to keep the economy going. The paint is coated on the um, informal settlement um, or on the shack home and basically when the, the fire does happen it contains it inside the shack and it doesn't spread to other shacks. Hence then um, giving more people a chance to escape but also preventing other informal places to be uh, bent down. The product um, will, will also benefit in that it doesn't uh, release harmful fumes. Um, a lot of times uh, the, the, the lives are lost due to smoke inhalation and the inhalation of uh, poisonous gases. Half the time you, you're stuck in a situation where the truck can't get closer to the fire region. What, we, what we're planning on doing in the first place is setting up fire corridors that can accommodate the roads that are big enough to accommodate the, the fire engine. Well the concept is quite simple. Urban Mosaic uh, is about two things. One is about shack fire and the other one is about using the paint to, uh, to stop the spread of fire but then it beautifies the, the townships. One of the big buzzwords at the moment in design and architecture is re-urbanisation and uh, you know, beautifying urban cities. Um, and then we'll sort of divide it into like squares and then divide those squares into the, your roofs will have you know Mr Mandela's nose on or something like that but we will decide on a, on a cultural icon or something a lot like land art that's been seen in, in the UK and stuff which is more graphic and more representative. The next level will be a demonstration that will essentially help us to present the, the, the concept in a, in a more literal sense. This money that we're getting from Design and Darbo will, will, will go a long way in, in getting that project underway. It's not, we're not going to be do, doing it by ourselves, we bring in the community. So that's the whole uh, thing uh, behind this because there are quite a lot of people that are out there trying to bring safety into communities and if we can all work together as one body and as Urban Mosaic, that's what we're all about. Community involvement, creating jobs and partnerships.